Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like the majority of y'all have figured out how to navigate Google Classroom and work on the documents. But I, what I did for you is I put this together so you guys can, uh, um, if you have any questions, we can help figure it out. So here we go. When you go to Google Classroom, this is what you're going to see. It looks very busy. If you can see from here, you got everything that as they put the stuff in, it shows up. It's sort of like your Twitter feed, okay? If you sort by new, everything shows up on this. So what I want you to do is go down here to the bottom where it says classwork, all right? And go ahead and click on that. Now this will clear up a lot of the confusion because see what happens? You get all of your assignments sorted by topic. Now our um, teachers have gone together and given you these opportunities of an, and assignments down by day. So it makes it a whole lot easier. So what I want you to do is pick your subject that you want to work on and you're going to click on it. And you're going to get this. All right. And then what you're going to see, you can see where you can add a class comment. All right. This goes out to everybody in the class. So let's try to be um, good learners when we use this. Okay, guys, if you have a, a question that everybody needs uh, an answer to, go to that one. But if you want just a question that you want to check in with your teacher, go down here to the bottom where it says add private comment. All right. Now you can explore this as you go along. These two attachments right here on this particular one, that is your actual assignment that we're going to click on and work. All right. Work with. And when you turn it in, you can go down here to the bottom and, uh, we have the little up arrow and that will bring it all up. Okay. Moving forward, this is where the magic happens. This is your assignment. Now, if you notice, these are PDFs. All right, guys. PDF. A PDF is basically an electronic piece of paper. If you click on it, nothing's going to happen. Just as if you tap a piece of paper, nothing's going to happen on the piece of paper. All right. How um, now? We can also eventually you're going to get Google Docs, which you can uh, uh, type directly into videos to watch, web pages to go over, Google Meets, which is a, a video conferencing, so you'll be able to talk with your teacher and the rest of the class. But right now, we're going to start with the basics and do the PDF. All right. Now you can click on this. You can actually write on this by going into the upper right hand corner and clicking on either the pencil, which you'll uh, be able to in, annotate directly in Google Classroom, or if you go to the export button, it will open it up in your Google Drive. All right. Now, a lot of people, Mr. Lemke, I did all my work, but it glitched and now my all my work is gone. It's not all gone, all right? If you go back to your Google Drive and you search for the document, which is, in this case, day one, sixth grade science assignment, it will populate and that is where your work is at, okay? So don't stress, it's not gone. It's just saved, okay? Because Google automatically saves everything. Now, here's how we annotate it. Once you've clicked on that pencil, you can, if you look down here at the bottom, here's what I found on the web. Sorry, Google's listening in. All right, you can crop it, means you can make it smaller or highlight a particular area. You can erase annotations. You can write with a fine pen. You can mark, write it with a big marker, or you can highlight. And all of these are modifiable, so you can do different colors, different sizes, etc. You can even type on it by going on to this one. Then once you're done with everything, if you click o, go to the upper right hand corner again, it's kind of dark, but if you click on save, it's going to save it to your Google Drive. All right. So that's how you annotate. If you're reading a document and you want to uh, highlight uh, important words, main ideas, etc., you want to write or doodle in the margin, you can do that with these tools, okay? Then, 
say your internet is kind of spotty or you want to take it home later on and you want to uh, work on it on the bus on because you got an hour bus ride home. While you're on connected, go over here to the three little dots, click make available offline. Now all of your work you don't have to worry, hey, my internet's kind of spotty. Every time it, it goes out, it disappears. If you make it available offline, now you can work on it, and it will sync back up to your drive when you go back online. Okay? So don't stress about that. Google loves you. Okay? Now, once you've uh, completed your readings, once you've made your annotations, once you've answered the questions, circled the que the answer, et cetera, et cetera. Now you got to turn it back in so that we as teachers can see how you're doing, where your thought process is, what do you need assistance with, okay? Now, if you're having troubles with something and you need a question your, at your teacher on it, just go down here to private comments, click teacher sample, and click the blue arrow and you will get an email sent off to your teacher say hey look I've got troubles and the teacher will click on it and it'll take you directly back to this actual assignment so we can see where you're having issues at okay so just if you have a question put in type private comments click send and we got it now turning it in Make sure that it says edited right here. If it doesn't say edited, this isn't the right one. Now, you can always cl double click on it or tap on it with your finger if you're on your iPad, and it will open up to make sure that it's the one with all of your answers. Okay? Once you've done all that, or if you want to add another attachment, say you've done a, you have a screenshot or something you want to attach to it, go ahead and attach documents, and it will work your way through that. You want to click on the big blue turn in button. Now, don't just hit big blue turn in button, whip your iPad closed, and say <clears throat> done. All right, make sure that it has uh, um, that this screen will come in up, says one attachment will be submitted or five attachments or whatever you have. Click turn in and make sure you get this screen right here where it says unsubmit, and down at the bottom it says one uh, your assignment has been turned in. All right, and then once you have this screen, you can go ahead and back out and go on to your next lesson or take a quick break, wash your hands, etc. All right, that's it, guys. I am posting this uh, slideshow along with this video to your classroom. So if you have any questions, ask. That's what we're here for. We're here to help you. So, everybody, make sure you keep, uh, stay healthy, wash your hands, get some exercise. And we will see you face-to-face -face as soon as we can. Talk to you guys later. Bye.